media training. This video is on Final Cut Pro 10 and a very powerful feature for media sorting that most people aren't really even aware of. It's kind of tucked in to the inspector area, but it can be used to search an entire hard drive for specific information and across all kinds of events. So if you have specific things that you want to search for, let's say I have a person who's in a number of different events in my library all on one hard drive and I've used the notes area properly I can search that entire drive and call up every single clip with that person's name in it so just to show you what I'm talking about I have my events up on the left here I have McCool videos the hard drive that's selected so it's in blue there I have my inspector over on the right my uh, preview window here and then also my event library. You can see that I have 2,502 clips on this hard drive. There's sound, there's, there's all kinds of video clips. It's just a litany, there's, there's a lot going on. Now, I've already done some of this work where I've gone in and used the notes area that I'm talking about. So just to show you what, what it does before I show you how to do it, Let's say I have a person, um, I actually have someone named Dennis who's in a few different clips. All right, here he is. This is pulling from the entire hard drive within a second. These are all clips that have the word Dennis inside the notes area. As you can see, the name of these clips is just time coded and camera settings. This is a 5D. Uh, you know, MVI 3137, it's just a standard Canon naming system. So if I sort these by the list view and show you some of the other metadata, you'll see the notes area. Over on the right hand side, these are the notes. Dennis Maggio is inside of here. So let's just say I click on, I just click on this clip right here and I go over to my inspector on the right. This is the notes area. I can type an entire paragraph inside of here. Now, at this specific place and in this clip, this is the information that I put here. So I have some names, a place, Starbucks, coffee, lighter, iPhone, ashtray. This is all information that can be searched across an entire hard drive within a couple seconds and call all of those things up. Now you can see where this could be really, really powerful if you have a large overarching documentary or a long piece video that you're working on and everything isn't in one event or maybe it's not keyworded but you're looking for a really specific piece of information so this notes area is really kind of like a hidden gem in my opinion that makes Final Cut Pro sorting just really really powerful as if it wasn't good enough already in my opinion it's just fantastic it's probably the best um, tool for sorting media and video editing in that way that I've seen. I usually like to keep my keywords as a note if you're familiar with how they work as more general terms like in this event bikes, environment, onboard, action, review clip, and riding clips and do my specific information inside the notes area. For me, it works. Um, for you, I hope this little piece of information helps you. Also, one thing before I go, you can assign notes to multiple clips at one time. So I can actually select all of these clips, or let's say I could select 50 of them at once, and I could go over inside the notes area. And since these are different, it says multiple values right now. But if you just imported media, there'd be nothing there. So I could select, you know, whatever clips I wanted to change that and I could type in a, a paragraph of information. So uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope this tip helps you and uh, helps you make your efficient, makes your editing more efficient and um, save you some time. Thanks for watching and check out mccoolmedia.net and keep an eye on YouTube for some more videos coming soon.